Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the blind playthrough of uh, Supreme Jerk Difficulty. It is episode number 24. Still only have two death in, under my belt. So we are doing quite well. Today we're going to explore the rest of uh, the area here and are going to hopefully go back to the ranger HQ as well. Just need to make sure that we're not being spotted out. And that we are not just running into those traps, right? Right. Could move up to here and then fight from here. I think that's not the worst idea. Target is blocked, so we can't see it. Can we see this guy? Answers yes, and that'll give us a nice little start to this mission or this episode, really. Lucier moves up. Four starters. Rally everyone. Uh, Marshal Quan moves up. After charging in, free shot. And free crit thanks to the follow-up with the ARs um, quite happy with how I skilled him oh we got a harvester here are you kidding me that's a baby with a shovel Okay, wait, not cool. How about... Uh, just shooting, yeah, but... Apparently, the baby has 900 hit points. <laughs> okay. Good, well, you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Central moves up. Ramos moves up. Hogbite begins to move up. Massive sprint into the back line. And yeah. Not exactly the hardest hit ever. There are quite a few enemies over there. Murphy. Looks like he's just preparing an ambush. Ouch. 
ambush. There's the ambush. Quanga just got taken down and well two down not a great Ramos Get central up. Sentry heals himself. Unfortunately, as you can see, the hit points of those who don't have full strings aren't particularly great yet uh, anymore. Nice little shotgun hit. One over heals. Almost got this guy down. Fantastic. Good. Moving back there. Waiting. to hit our own guys. Murphy moves up. It's the Godfisher down there. It's and marks the other one. They go for the disco bot, but Party Pal has a lot of armor. We're good. Oh yeah, well the our NPCs are actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Marshal Quan. He'll talk by it. Over heals to be precise. And then let's remove uh, some of the armor here. Nice little penetrating shot into a crit. You can rely on Quan. He's doing some really solid damage. Occupied. Moves in. This guy is down to 60. Murphy could, with a well placed shot, eliminate and get. Uh, barely, not, uh, barely not enough. I was about to say he could eliminate him. Oh, 
Oh, that would be a lot of damage. Can no, we can't only uh, only hit them together with Major Tom. Central just got a couple of AP back. It's okay. Enough to make him Tom. hit less. And we're going for full cover. Very nice, our demoralization has uh, worked. He missed uh, once. Party bot down there continues to heal. Super tanky, that guy. One hit. Two, three. Good hit. Take this guy out. Well done, Lucia. One over here. Heals. Then moves over. Um, and uh, sets an ambush. Central sprints in. That guy's just barely out of range. Ramos continues. Murphy moves here and we're ambushing. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? I've just got one shot. Because this guy also does have a sniper. Well, then that was a bad idea. Central rushes forward, gets the free perk, and ends this guy's miserable existence. We still got company, so Quan moves back, gets Murphy back up. Murphy immediately heals himself.
Front line is moving forward. And we're making sure that Hogbite isn't one shot again. I like the healing. Wasn't expecting these guys to be so tough. Oh wow, the uh, provost is absolutely maddening. Good. Ramos gets a tripwire down. We had a couple of explosive barrels here and there. Could have used those, but I think overall uh, the way that we approached it was correct. The world before the bombs fell. Like, what it took to survive back then? Different kind of place for sure. For one thing. Got a little bit healing and a lot of junk. Okay, listen. There are still a couple more of these guys around. Oh boy, we definitely need medical support. Injury kit. Good, almost every uh, everyone else has an injury. We can nonetheless uh, can we take on these other fools? I think we're just going to use the injury kits. Well, not great, but okay. Put five injury kits down. I, wait, could we, could we have healed with a party bot? Not during combat. All right, uh, I need to take a short break here, uh, but be right back in a sec. All right, back. So uh, let's uh, take a good look. We gotta level up, by the way. Good old Marshal Quan is uh, leveled up, and we could give him some more hit points, which I think we're going to do. Sounds like a great idea. And Quanny, as his friends call him, could get mechanics up, and then we could get mechanics 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that would be good. Alternative uh, is first aid. Hmm. You know what? Let's get mechanics up to here. And then that allows us to read the manual. And that means he doesn't need his head anymore. Which is fantastic uh, because there are much better heads around. For instance, uh, this level 13 helmet.
So that's just five armor. Uh, we got crit resistance and crit chance. Yeah, we have no armor modification. Might as well just stick with that critical chance improvement and crit resistance. Those helmets were absolutely good. He said 12 armor overall. <laughs> Not the best. So let's give him some more armor up to 18. Fantastic. And hmm, level five legs. He does have level six legs, and they are modified. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? He has 18 armor. That isn't bad. 22, 33, 15. Uh, as always, central is lacking a little bit. Hmm. Five armor. Yeah, I think the trooper helmet is good. Central overall is a bit too um, too fragile. If you look at the 210 hit points from Quan, that definitely is better. I would say everything above 200 at the moment is fine. Anyways, we were in the middle of exploring slash freeing this. Okay, there are enemies over there. Fair enough. Quan crouches. Central, let's move him over here. And Hogbite goes all the way to there. We got a keeper there, fair enough. Uh, how about Quan? Begins to st start here. How did that not start combat? Oh, come on, guys. On a level from 1 to 10 bullshit, that was... Quite a lot of BS. Good. Let's get this one out. Sure. You know what? It's going to be a moderately hard fight. Quan moves to here. And we're good. Alright, back. So, let's get Ramos into full cover here and see if our little distraction was good enough. We got a nice little turret. Well, they definitely got the decoy. So many neutral neutral people here. All right. Marshal Kwan. Heal talk bite. Heals Murphy. Barely. We're going to inspire everyone. And my little one is crying. Give me a sec. All right, back in action. So we got 
Lots of intruders here and a couple of them over there. I would love to use my shotgun a little bit more frequently. This here would be awesome, but unfortunately we will blow our own friends out of the water. 800 hit point enemies. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's try to Thundering Strike. Uh, that's straight up 20 AP taken out. Love it. And instead, whom of the two can we realistically finish? Potentially this guy here. Okay, before we're continuing... Let's see, this guy... Takes a couple of really good hits. Central is healing Murphy. Don't want him to accidentally go down again. Ramos. Very solid damage. Lucia also heals herself. We're giving ourselves more AP from next round onwards. Listen, I mean... Hitting both of them with a stun gun might not be the worst idea ever. I think we're just going to do that. Murphy switches places. Good. That just takes the DPS away uh, from our back line. Your death is inevitable. Embrace it. A little bit of demoralization. Hawkbite is just going to take a defensive stance. And look, we're just continuing to focus here. Mainly because I would like to get uh, these guys out of the way. Murphy continues to heal, I like that. It's over for you. Put a mark on this guy and I think we're just going to ambush the moment that one moves. There's the crit for five hundred, love it. Oh wow. Even with de demoralized, they still hit like a truck. Hawkbite got sniped down. Not cool. Although he was defending himself, so... Oh, come on, Provost. Don't sacrifice yourself. It's not worth it. Quan moves in. 
rescues. Starts to storm for free. And unfortunately, isn't doing well himself. Great shotgun shot. Murphy absolutely cracked it. Takes one out. Continues with uh, shotgun shots. Since Hogbite can be one shot, might as well just position him there. Good, central. There's a couple of things to do. For starters, kill this guy. Then chain kill this guy. Lead a multi kill. I like that. Unfortunately, that was a miss. 120. I think we could be that. Stay focused. Good. We got three times leader multi kill. That is a massive increase of our crit chance. Shrink this guy. Mainly to make him less dangerous. And we'll take AP over. Okay, Quan is trying to defend himself just to not be hit, essentially. But he's potentially going down. Good. Get you up. We're going to hit his arms. Nice little crit. I like that. Central revives. I mean, cannot really 
move out of the way of whoever is shooting at us. Central reloads, I like that. One moves into cover. Hits this guy in the hat. Uh, that is also good. Murphy reloads. Fifty percent chance of hitting and killing this guy. But not if we move over here. Oh, we need to shoot immediately. Okay, well that is a learning. Next time I'll move over and then... Reload afterwards. Hmm. Difficult decision. These guys here are the real problem. Good, he's blinded and crippled. And both of them are demoralized. That's as much of a debuff as I can hand out. Let's all work together and save my hands. Alright, Murphy heals himself. Ogbite is soon going to go in. For now, defense. And let's just take these two guys down a notch. Snipers are really a problem. Q1 
spawn over heals himself. Mainly because I don't want him to go down yet again. Okay, this here is a perfect opportunity for a grenade. Quan heals Murphy. Places this out, it's super hard fight. Actually, I wouldn't have expected to use that much on just healing. Everybody gets rallied. Ramos moves up. Triple hit, explosion of that barrel. Almost got the clone down, that is not good. Cool, fantastic. Really good extra hit. Everybody here is stunned. Wonderful. Hawkbite moves in and now it's time to punish these fools. Okay, it sprints up, gets a free shooter perk. I can tell you he's not going to look upon these guys lightly. Moves in. Good, that stunning has made all of the difference. These two snipers were taking out so many of us, but what am I supposed to do? I mean, to in order to get there, not even Hawkbite could withstand their attack. If we're fighting against enemies that have a thousand six hundred hit points, then yeah, 
It's gonna be messy. Okay. Listen, that was very, very costly. We got double wounds on three guys. I think we've used half a dozen of the medical darts. As a matter of fact, down to just four of them and two med kits. Yay! Not great, not great at all. Come on, at least, please, have great loot. Junk, 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 more junk. Level 10 sniper rifle, yay. And a few more co uh, dollars. Hey, traveler. Why not visit Denver? The this is one of this was one of the least balanced fights in a way of uh, what type of loot you're getting, as opposed to what you're fighting. Maybe I've spoken too early. Let's see. Is it a submachine gun? Yeah, not bad, but we are already shooting quite a few weapons that require energy cells. And just by looking <laughs> route of ammunition here. Generally speaking, 50 cal ammo is also uh, gone and energy cells, we don't have that many left over. Well, I tell you what, it's a perfect time to get back to HQ because this year has gone completely out of hand. We need refilling, we need purchasing. What have you done, you heathens? It was to be us who harvested the unbelievers. You will fly today, heathen. Uh, more of these guys. But I can't let kite fishers run rampant here all right it's not cool but we gotta get it done can we muster enough to just one more uh, do one more fight good what what kind of weapons What kind of weapons need ammunition? Well, all of them, duh. But what kind of ammunition do we need? We don't have that much scrap uh, left over. So 50 cal definitely. What else? 7.62 am ammunition.
Yep, lots of 7.62 ammunition and that's pretty much it, right? Right. 7.62, 7.62, 9mm. Okay. Craft. Let's start with 9mm ammunition. That is cheap. So we can easily get 80 of it. Two full max should be good. And then we do have uh, this here. Okay, enough to generally uh, do a little bit, but not a lot. In terms of money, we're okay ish. We would have energy cells if needed. What's the, uh, this weapon? Uh, it's taken energy cells as well. Mm. Yeah, I think overall we're okay. Although this is not going to be an easy battle. Good, fantastic. Combat uh, stars, we couldn't even sneak up. They just come in, and that's a perfect start for combat. Got down, can't even do anything. That is the type of combat that I love. Kodiak runs forward, pushes everybody a little bit further. One moves in. I uh, should have waited for rally because Quan could have placed the beacon, which would have been very important to do. Three and we hit uh, Major Tomcat. I think it's still fine. A lot of damage on Tomcat though. Everybody here gets demoralized. And Central goes and takes a nice little cover. Can't take over a robot. Too bad. We need someone who is a distraction.
Grenade. Ramos moves over here. We're just driving over them next turn. Hawkbite moves here and I want to give him a little bit more defending bonus. Good, that's four of them taken out. Lucia goes into defending mer uh, mode. Could hit a couple of uh, these guys. The question is why he could instead position himself wisely. Such as going to here because I don't want him to just get overrun. Spotted. Of misses, that's good. Okay, we're just going to drive over them. That's the plan. And hopefully, the clone will survive. We could build a new one. That's one down. That's two down. And my little one does not approve uh, the absolute outrageous damage that is being dealt. Everybody here is suppressed, fantastic. Ramos stays where he's uh, where he's at.
Great hit onto that trick fisher. This guy here is crippled. Very good. Another hit. And we're going into cover. Okay, cool. Quan gets up our friend. Puts a beacon out. And Hogbite really needs to hunker down. Could ambush and make it a chain ambush because why not? That was a nice little crit. Marshall Quan is taking he uh, heat off. Lucia is taking some heat. I was hoping our car would actually take some more heat. The Kodiak. That's not happening at the moment. Oh, so many of them. It's a tough battle. This entire episode consists out of tough battles. Kodiak begins to move further. I like what the Kodiak is doing, but the problem is they are here and the Kodiak can't really get in here. Keep fighting. It's just chilling there. Quan helps uh, Central to stay in the battle, and I think we're just gonna use this here in a second. All right, Ramos. Not good because Central took a couple of hits. Can't really get him down.
This is potentially better than the smoke grenade. That's demoralizing six of them in just one go. And stepping further back. The turrets are doing well. Come on. These guys here are standing in a perfect shotgun condition. Alright, Kodiak pretty successfully uh, cleared out uh, the back line. Alright. Lucia. It's one hit. Not sure why it deals so little damage. Do they all have massive armor? Is it just uh, the fact that they do have so many hit points? Hogbyte heals himself first. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is we're switching to this weapon. And that's a perfect time for crit armor breaking, triple blind. All of them shrink, uh, shrunk down to deal less damage. Hopefully that is going to work. Nice hit. <laughs> the guy runs from back here all the way to our sniper and one shots him. Deserved. 
To me, that's absolutely crazy. Something is off. I mean, each of these guys have like what? 1600 hit points, not each, but many of them. 1400 here. Kodiak moves up. Takes down a couple of those snipers. Maybe not the worst idea. One gets into cover. Murphy crouches down. Unbelievable. Can't even target that guy. Okay, come on, game. Out of ammo. Very good. Couldn't target the uh, shrunk down version. They're snipers, if we can get them down, we are not too bad. Okay, Ramos is just burning. Ramos moves up to hopefully get a snowball. Hogbite. Scores a kill, moves up, we're barely pushing through this. Last med kit gone.
Headshot blind. Combat stimming us and Lucia is going to go back in. Hunk is down. Pawn heals himself and that must be enough for now. These guys are relentless. It's crazy to see just how many resources it takes to get them down. Luckily we had the Kodiak this time. Thousand five hundred hit points, that's ten times as much as some of our guys have. Fantastic. Keep it up. Good. <laughs> We're down to needing to eat food because our meds are gone. I think even the food at this point. It's getting sparser and sparser. Okay, that's not bad. Level 22 helmet. Armor and cold resistance. I like that. And... That's potentially for the guy that has the least armor and gets downed often. Okay, central. Finally could get a couple more hit points. I like it. Up to 180, I think even more 200 if he wouldn't be injured. Get that leadership up. Double tap isn't bad. But I think we're going to get uh, go with weathered for now. I don't want to always be crit. Okay. Let's get a repair kit going. And that looks somewhat decent.
Good, guys, I think I'll end the ev episode here. We have had a massive, massive fight. I think it was one of the longest episodes. It's just incredibly hardcore fight after fight after fight. Uh, the kite Cowboy, guys. It's dead red talking at you again. Come back on our private. Heard you can't. Boy, never. You know, now let's talk about the other one. I don't want uh, that now. I want to finish the moderation of the episode. So it was pretty, uh, pretty damn tough. But we uh, leveled up to f level 14 to 16. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, first of all, got to bring that zealot uh, home and definitely uh, recuperate uh, some of our resources. We are almost at nothing including our crafting which is i think down to 22 scraps which is laughable so we need ammunition we need med kits we need healing we need it all and we need it right now thanks for watching guys if you want to donate a few med kits um the donation is at the like button see you on the next episode Bye bye